inner and outer on there are five slat surfaces, one through five, and two flap surfaces, inner and outer, on each wing. The slats and flaps are electrically controlled and hydraulically operated. The pilot selects the position of the slats and flaps by use of the five position flaps lever. The slats and flaps are each driven by a power control unit, PCU, that consists of two independent hydraulic motors coupled by a differential gearbox. The hydraulic motors for the slats use green and blue hydraulic power, while the hydraulic motors for the flaps use green and yellow hydraulic power. If one hydraulic system is inoperative, the affected slats or flaps will operate at half speed. There are two slat flap control computers, SFCC, that each have one slat channel and one flap channel. If one SFCC is inoperative, the slats and flaps operate at half speed. Asymmetry position pickoff units, APPU, measure asymmetry between the left and right wings and provide that information to the SFCCs. Feedback Position Pickoff Units, FPPU, provide position feedback information to the SFCC. An Indication Position Pickoff Unit, IPPU, sends the position information to the ECAM. The systems are equipped with pressure off brakes, POB, that lock the gearbox when the slat or flap surfaces have either reached the commanded position or when hydraulic power fails. A flap disconnect detection system can detect attachment failure, and if there is a failure, will inhibit flap operation in order to prevent further damage. A sensor detects an attachment failure by measuring excessive differential movement between the inner and the outer flaps. The slats and flaps are equipped with wingtip brakes, WTB, that will stop their operation when certain conditions have been detected. These conditions include asymmetry, mechanism overspeed, symmetrical runaway, or uncommanded movement. When a WTB is activated, the associated slat or flap cannot be operated for the remainder of the flight. Now note, if only a flat WTB is on, the slats will still operate. Or if only a slat WTB is on, the flaps will still operate. The alpha speed lock function inhibits slat retraction at high angles of attack or low airspeeds. The SFCCs use corrected angle of attack or airspeed information from the ADARUS to activate this inhibit feature. The alpha speed lock function will inhibit slat retraction if flaps zero is selected when alpha is greater than plus 8.6 degrees or the airspeed is less than 148 knots. The inhibit feature is removed when alpha decreases to less than plus 7.6 degrees or when the airspeed increases to greater than 154 knots. The alpha speed lock function will not activate if the high alpha or low airspeed conditions are reached after the pilot has selected the flaps lever to zero or the aircraft is on the ground with speed less than 60 knots. The flaps lever has five selectable detents, 0, 1, 2, 3, and full. The detents and slat flap positions are referred to as configurations. With the lever in positions between detent, the surfaces will not move until another detent is selected. Box at lever positions 1 and 3 require that the pilot momentarily release the detent unlock before selecting the next detent, extending or retracting. There is no balk at lever position 2, and the lever can bypass that position without releasing the detent unlock.
When flap zero is selected and the slats and flap surfaces are retracted, the EWD appears as shown. The lever position is displayed on the EWD. The actual slats and flap surface positions are also displayed on the EWD. After the slats and flaps are retracted for a short time period, the display is simplified as shown here. Click the various configuration settings and observe the animation on the EWD. White indexes appear at possible slat and flat positions for all configuration selections, except flat zero. While the flaps or slats are in transit, a blue symbol appears and the lever position displays blue. The blue symbols indicate the selected position of the associated flap or slat. The blue symbols blank and the lever position changes from blue to green when the selected position is reached. This chart shows the configurations of the slats and flaps as related to the flap zero and one lever detents. When flaps one is selected, the result will be either configuration one, slats extend only, or configuration one plus F, slats and flaps extend, as described above. Note that configuration 0 and configuration 1 are designated holding configurations, but configuration 1 plus F is not for holding. The selection of flaps 1 will result in slat extension only, configuration 1, or in slat and flap extension, configuration 1 plus F, depending on conditions shown in the diagram. Study this diagram and then click the various airspeed buttons and flaps lever positions to see the operation. Selecting flaps 1 and flap 0 with airspeed above 100 knots and at or below 210 knots will result in configuration 1. On the other hand, selecting flaps 1 from flaps 2 in this same speed range will result in configuration 1 plus F. Try these two situations and observe the results. During a configuration 2 or 3 takeoff, or even go around, when flaps 1 is selected with the airspeed above 100 knots and below 210 knots, the result will be configuration 1 plus F. However, if flaps 1 is selected with airspeed above 210 knots, the result is configuration 1 with flaps retracted. The F and S legends and position indications appear amber if both associated hydraulic systems are not pressurized, or the wingtip brakes are on, or there is a fault in the slaps or flaps. Note, the amber flap legend color is inhibited when hydraulic systems are not pressurized on the ground with the engines stopped. 
On this page, we show the flat and slat related EWD failure titles and the associated conditions. We also show the indications that are provided to the flight crew. This completes the description of the operation of the flaps and slats. Now for the questions.